You know when you're not happy with your weight and you want to lose weight, but what if you're eating to fit in? What if you're eating to get approval? What if you're eating to get acceptance, to get love? Then what do you do? It's kind of a conundrum, isn't it? Kind of a stuck place to be in. Let's see what we can find out about this. Welcome back to the JoLynn Braley Show. Today is episode number 563. The topic, when you're eating to fit in, but you want to lose weight, then where do you go from there? Welcome back to the JoLynn Braley Show. Today is episode 563, and I have a very interesting topic for you, which is a follow-up to the previous episode, episode 562, and it's also a follow-up to episode 558. So, If you have already listened to episode 558, which is about when you get fired from your job for eating too much, and if you've also already listened to the previous episode, which was 562, then you're all set for today's episode 563. If you have not listened to the other two episodes yet, I recommend that you do, but if you haven't, you could just listen to today's episode on its own and see what kind of aha moments you can get out of this today. But first, before we do that, if this is your first time tuning in, I am JoLynn Braley. I am the permanent weight loss coach who founded the Inner Self Diet. The Inner Self Diet is a diet that you need to unravel your emotional, your mental, your inner self roadblocks, your connections, your webs that you have woven between yourself and food, your relationship with food, how you think about yourself, how you think about food. It's so much more than what a food diet can fix. A food diet is great if you don't have any problems with emotional eating, binge eating, stress eating, out of control, compulsive overeating, mindless eating. If you don't have any issues with food, if you don't have a bad relationship with food, and all you need is a, you know, step-by-step, eat this, don't eat that, then yeah, a food diet is all you need. Most people, though, have a much bigger problem than a food diet can fix. And that is... One topic that we're going to talk about here today, uh, another topic in the whole psychology of this whole problem that goes so far beyond just a mere food diet. And unfortunately, the mainstream diet industry, it just sets you up for failure because it doesn't address the real problems. And that's what I address with my awesome coaching clients in the Inner Self Diet. By the way, if you'd like to learn just a little bit more about this whole topic of losing weight from the inside out, actually addressing your mindset, which is 92.8% of the whole problem, addressing the emotional connection, addressing the root of the problem. If you'd like to learn just a little bit more about this, go get my free ebook. You can get that at www.easyfunweightloss.com forward slash ebook. Easyfunweightloss.com forward slash ebook. All you have to do is enter your first name and email and we will send that out to you. Okay, so today's topic when you're eating to fit in, but you're not happy being obese. You're not happy having to have multiple knee replacement surgeries. 
You're not happy being diabetic. You're not happy with how you look. You don't feel good. You don't feel sexy. You don't look your best. But you're eating to get other people to approve of you. So I mentioned episode 562 and also episode 558. And then today's episode, all three of these are about the same subject. (laughs) She's not really a subject, I guess. The same woman. She is not a coaching client. This is somebody who is a friend of someone I know. And I have never talked to this woman about her weight problems. I'm not sharing her name. I'm not sharing who it is who knows her. And I don't really think the woman who got fired from her job for eating too much and the woman who brought the dessert over to her friend's house and ate the whole thing in front of her, which it was supposed to be for both of them to eat, you know, to drink coffee and talk and each have a piece. Instead, she ate the whole thing. And then today's topic, this is all the same person. I don't know if she even is trying to lose weight. So this is not a client of mine. I'm sharing these stories because these are great examples of how big this problem really is and why there are so many millions who are struggling to lose weight and they're stuck on the mainstream diet industry's roller coaster that sets them up for failure because it never addresses the real problems. So for example, In today's episode here, in today's story, in this continuing trauma with this same woman who has been in the topic of three of my podcasts now, when you're eating to fit in, but you want to lose weight. And like I said, I don't even know if she really is trying, but you who's listening to my podcast, obviously you want to lose weight. Otherwise, you wouldn't be listening to the JoLynn Braley show. So the person I know who has been sharing these stories with me, who is the personal friend of the woman I've been talking about here in my podcast, we were just talking today and it was so funny because I've been asking her, why do you think that your friend ate all of those desserts at her job and got fired at the real estate office. Why do you think that she came over to your house and brought that dessert and ate the whole thing in front of you and you never even got a bite? What do you think's going on? Do you think that she was abused? Was she abused as a child? Did something happen? You know, was she attacked? Is she trying to protect herself? Do you have any idea what's going on? And this person that I know who has been sharing these stories with me always said, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Maybe it's a problem in her marriage or something. Well, today, out of the blue, here's the answer that I got from the one who has been sharing these stories with me. She actually told me, she said, oh, well, my friend, the one who I've done these other podcasts about, I've told you the numbers, 562 and 558, if you want to go back and listen to those. Okay, so what I learned today is that this woman who is obese and eats everything in sight, when she got married many years ago, Her husband's family picked on her and criticized her for being so slender and fit and looking so good because she used to be in great shape. She used to look her best. She used to be attractive. She used to be, uh, you know, she was really rocking it. And her husband's family is all overweight and obese. And they kept criticizing her. 
Well, she overate to get acceptance and fit in with her husband's family. She is aware of this. She told my friend, who has been sharing these stories with me, that now she fits in with her husband's family because all of them are obese now. Isn't this interesting? And it's not surprising at all because since I have been professionally coaching my awesome coaching clients since 2009, I launched this whole mind body weight loss venture back in 2007. And then I started professionally coaching in 2009. And over the years, I've had many coaching clients share their fears. And on the surface, if you didn't understand the psychology of this whole problem, then these fears might sound irrational. But these are the real fears that will stop you from getting to your goal weight and staying there if you don't address them and heal them and release them and replace them with positive, empowering, healthy beliefs. These are the things that I do, the deep work that I do with my coaching clients in the inner self diet so that by call eight, they are struggle free with their eating and their weight, which means that they are able to live a healthy lifestyle to get that weight off without getting in their own way without sabotaging themselves, without emotional eating, without binge eating. They're able to just do what they need to do to live healthy and fit so that the weight keeps coming off. So they are out of their own way by call eight. Some of the fears that my coaching clients have shared over the years are fears of, if I lose weight, I'm afraid that I'll be too attractive and any man who propositions me, I'll say yes, and I don't want to be promiscuous. Or if I lose weight, my husband will divorce me because I'll be too attractive. Or I'll be out of control and have sex with everyone and anyone if I lose weight. These might sound like very irrational fears, but when that's a real fear, that you have, you're not going to be able to stop yourself from binging at night due to these fears, unless you actually go to the root of this and address what's underneath it and heal it. So in today's story, what would the fear be? Well, if I lose weight, then My husband's family is not going to like me anymore. And if it's more important what other people think about you than it is what you think about yourself and your own health and your own fitness in your body, in your mind, in your life, if other people have more control over your eating and your weight than you do, then I guess you're really going to be in a pickle. And so then what? Is the solution to just stay obese, stay overweight? Or could it be that the solution is to work on your own fears of what other people think of you so that you care more about what you think of yourself, because you're the one living your life. You're the one paying your bills. You're the one who has to live in that body. You're the one who has to either look at yourself in the mirror or continue to avoid looking at yourself in the mirror because you're so disgusted with what you've allowed yourself to become. You're the one who has to live with that 24 hours a day. These other people aren't living with it, are they? So what if there was a way that you could address what's going on with you since the fact of the matter is you can't change other people and it's not your job to change other people. And if other people don't like you because you look great 
and you're at your best weight, honestly, that is not your problem. Now, I realize that can be very uncomfortable if those people are part of your family, but there are ways to heal yourself, heal your inner self, boost your own confidence, and be able to accept other people for where they are at, realize that they have their own stuff to deal with, but that's not your stuff, that's their stuff. So there are ways to work around this and work through it and go past it without keeping yourself in the chains of overweight and obesity because you're afraid of what other people are going to think of you. And you're afraid that they won't accept you if you look great and if you lose weight. So there is a choice. There is a choice to make. You can choose to continue to eat, to try to get other people to accept you and approve of you. Or you can choose to work on yourself, change your own mindset, your own thoughts, your own beliefs, and move forward. These are things that food diets can't fix. And can you imagine how many out there have problems that no food diet can address, but they think that the food diet is the solution because they think that the problem is I'm fat. So I have to do something about it. Okay, so what do I do? Oh, why don't I go do keto or Weight Watchers or Jenny Craig or Atkins or whatever? Or, 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 or. And then that'll fix the problem. Yeah, and maybe maybe it will temporarily. Maybe you will lose some weight. Maybe you'll even get all the way to your goal weight. Oh, hey, what about weight loss surgery? That stops you from eating so much, right? Temporarily, because over time you can stretch out what's left of your stomach. Did you know that only 5% or less of those who get weight loss surgery, they regain all the weight plus more? I hear it all the time. In fact, One of my newest coaching clients was just telling me about this. People that she knows who had weight loss surgery gained it all back plus more. Why is that? Why is it that even weight loss surgery doesn't fix the problem? And why is it that diets, regular diets, don't fix the problem? Because actually, what is the problem? Is the problem really that you're fat? Is the problem that you're obese? Is the problem the extra 70 pounds that you're carrying around? Is that the problem? That actually is the symptom. Your extra weight, whether it's five pounds or 50 pounds, that extra weight is a symptom. It's a symptom of your eating. But then why are you eating so much? Or why are you eating the kinds of foods you're eating? What's that about? Well, then you have to go underneath that to what is driving that. And in today's episode, what has driven this one woman to live in an obese body is wanting to get acceptance from other people who don't live in her body, who don't have to deal with the pain in her body. You know how many knee replacement surgeries she's already had? She's had at least two. But hey, one is too many, in my opinion. Can you imagine having knee replacement surgery? What a pain. The body is not meant to be carrying tons of extra weight. It taxes the heart. It taxes your joints. taxes your feet, your knees, everything. 
Not to mention your mental state, your emotional state, your self-esteem, your belief in yourself, your get up and go, your enthusiasm, your happiness. I mean, come on now. Do you really believe anybody who says that they're happy being obese? They're trying to tell themselves a story. And you know the truth. If you've ever been there, which you probably are right now, overweight or obese. Otherwise, why would you be listening to me right now, right? And I understand. I understand how difficult all of this is. Because processed food is so addictive and it's so tasty. But when you add in all of these other layers of issues, like in today's story, wanting to be accepted by other people, so you actually blow up your own body because all of them in that crowd are obese, so you actually blow up to fit in with them. You know what I just was reminded of. I I just thought of this. There's a saying something about soaring with the eagles or laying around with the turkeys. And it's a choice. You can be your best self. And there's going to be people, there's going to be turkeys who don't like that. And they don't like you. But whose life is it? Whose life is it to live? Is it your life? Is it your body? Or are these other people in control of you? Who cares more about you than you? Why would you hold yourself back and make yourself fat and make yourself miserable to please other people? Who is in your body? Who is in your mind? Who's controlling your mind? These are some pretty good questions to ask. Maybe get out a pen and paper and answer them for yourself. But you're going to need a professional coach in your corner to help you dissect the answers you get and then actually give you steps to move beyond all of this because you don't want to just stay stuck in a place of thinking about all this stuff forever because it's too easy to just keep overeating while you're thinking about it. And of course, it depends on what you want to do, what results you want. Do you really want to move past the pain? Not just the physical pain, but the emotional pain, the pain of worry and upset and frustration and Gosh, it's so exhausting to just have to deal with this all the time, isn't it? It is a choice. It is a choice. You can break free if you are willing to do something totally different. If you are willing to step out of your comfort zone. If you're willing to get uncomfortable. You know you have to get uncomfortable because if you're just comfortable all the time, That means you're still in your comfort zone. You have to get uncomfortable if you really want to solve what the root of your issues is when it comes to your eating and your weight so that you could finally lose weight for good. You have to be willing to step out. And are there going to be people who don't like it? Possibly. But do you want to like yourself? You know, if you really want to make changes and you want to make real changes that go beyond a food diet, if you want to stop binge eating, if you want to stop stress eating, if you want to stop emotional eating, if you want to create a healthy relationship with food, if you want to finally be able to lose weight for good, then you have to address your inner self. You have to address the inner problems. Because obviously, if a food diet could have fixed your overweight, 
How many years ago would you have already done it? Why would you still be having a problem? Does that make sense? If you are serious about taking action to lose weight for good, and if you'd love my help to do it, apply for a complimentary weight loss discovery session now. These are very limited. I can only schedule three total per week at the most. So these are first come, first serve. What you need to do is go to www.discovery-session.com, enter your first name and email, and then on the next page, there should be a button that you need to click, and that will open an application which you need to complete and submit that so that you can get in the queue. Like I said, it's first come, first serve, and the quicker you get your application in, the quicker you can start to get out of this frustrating place where you're just spinning your wheels. I mean, what is Einstein's definition of insanity? Have you heard it? Continuing to do the same thing over and over again while expecting a different result. Well, if you just keep expecting a food diet to fix all this, isn't that insanity? Do you know what I mean, Jean? Does that make sense? Head on over to www.discovery-session.com if you really are serious about getting to the bottom of this. If you'd love to stop wondering why you are so smart and successful, except in this one area of your life, except when it comes to your eating and your weight. Go apply now. Let's see if we can get you on the schedule, get on the phone, and find out what is stopping you personally from losing weight for good. I hope you got something out of today's interesting psychological weight loss story, weight loss topic, real life scenario, eating to fit in, eating to get approval, eating because you care more about what other people think of you than you care what you think of yourself. That's a real pickle to be in. It can be solved, but you have to go within to solve it. And you need the right steps. You need a proven system. You need accountability. You need a coach who is going to help you get real, be totally honest with yourself so that you can make the fastest progress possible. I wish you your best life living inside of your ideal body.